Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Fran, I'm from Venezuela, and today we're going to be watching a video called Visit America, the Dumps of Visiting um, the USA. Um, so it looks like um, a bit of a travel guide, um, very interesting. Um, this guy looks very friendly and he's probably going to give us um, a lot of tips. I'm guessing he's American and he's going to be giving us a lot of tips in order not to, um, not to, for Americans not to be pissed off when you visit their country. Um, so subscribe, comment, like, and start. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Mystic, Connecticut in a beautiful place here in the US. And today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting the US because anywhere you go in the world there's things you should do, but there's also of things course. you shouldn't do. And this video is going to just cover the US in general, okay? And our first don't for when you visit the US is don't touch the Americans. Okay. Look, Americans really like their Perfect. personal space. It's like they have a bubble around them and if you get too close to them, they feel very, very, like very, very, very uncomfortable, okay? So make sure you give them a little distance <laughs> when you are there, you know? Because I know when I go to Italy and Spain and stuff, people are like, Mark, how's it going? All this stuff. And my American friends sometimes go, wow, they're really, really affectionate. Like, that's just how it is. Here, space is key. The With second don't I have honestly. for you is don't count on public transportation. Look, when we were in China and we were in throughout Europe and South America, we took buses and trains and planes and all kinds of stuff to Everyone get all goes over by the car. place because public transport is really developed. Here in the U.S., you cannot count on public transport to get you a lot of places. Yes, in big cities like New York and Chicago and stuff like that, you can get around for the public transport and it will take you where you want to go. But a lot of towns, small towns especially in middle-sized cities, the public transportation networks are not very good. And at night, sometimes it's not very safe. So that is kind of a frustrating thing. So Didn't yes, you're going to probably have to rent a car when you come here, okay? So just have a heads up for that. And that kind of leads into the next don't I have it's for you. Is, that is, don't underestimate the size of <laughs> yeah. the U.S. The United States, it's, you know, continental U.S. is like continental Europe. It's huge. I mean, would you think it's of generous. driving from, oh, I'm going to do, you know, go to from Lisbon to Paris and then go up to Tallinn and then, and then head down to Sofia. No, you're like, that is insanely far. <laughs> it's the same thing when you come to the U.S. I meet a lot of travelers that are like, oh, I'm going to fly into New I York, do so grab many a things. car, drive down to Miami <laughs> to see Miami Beach, and then head over to L.A. I'm like, dude, no. you got two weeks? The you're going the, the entire time in cars. <laughs> the distances here are insane. So what I recommend is picking a region. So, oh, we're going to stay here in New England and see New England. Mm -hmm. Or we're going to go in the southeast, you know, go to Atlanta and Savannah and Charleston, things like that, or, or visit the west coast. You do that to get a better idea of the culture there and things like that. But also, it's just the logistics things because it's so far between the places. It's a good idea. And to go along with that, just for Americans, a three to four hour drive, that's a day trip. Like my parents live three hours away. I will literally get up, go drive, have lunch with my mom, and then drive back home just for lunch. Six hours in the car. No, no big insane. deal. It's about seven hours. We start to think, hmm, that kind of is a long drive. And we drive the entire way through. Okay, this isn't like, oh, I must stop every two hours and have a 15 minute break. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We drive all the yeah, way it's, through. Yeah, it's okay? coming. You're now, my road next trip. don't for you when you come here is don't think that the sticker price is the end price. Mm. Look, in the US we have sales tax. I know other countries they have VAT, value added taxes, that are already put into the price of products. So when you see, oh, it's $1, oh, it or never one is. Euro, oh I only pay one euro. In the US it is not like that. We have sales tax. So a certain percentage is added on to that product. It's a the thing is, <laughs> I cannot tell you what the sales tax will be where you're going to travel because it's different everywhere. Cities, states, counties, different products <laughs> have sales different sales taxes. taxes. And some products <laughs> don't have sales taxes. Some cities don't have sales taxes. Some have 10% sales don't. tax. <laughs> it can be different anywhere you go. So if you're going to go get your dollar menu item at a McDonald's or a Culver's or a wherever, it's not going to be a buck. Where I live, <laughs> there's two cities more. right by where I live. One, it's going to be a dollar eight. The other one, it's going to be a dollar nine. So <laughs> be ready for that. And it's not just the sales tax. Also, there could be the tipping on top. And that leads us into the fifth don't. And that is don't forget to tip. Look, in the U.S., you tip 15 to 20 percent at a like sit-down restaurant, tip. okay? Now, McDonald's, stuff like that, no, you don't tip at a fast food place. <laughs> but at a sit-down restaurant where they bring you your food and stuff like that, yeah. you will tip them 15 to 20 percent. If you are in a group of six people or more, sometimes they automatically put the gratuity on there, which sometimes can be 18 percent or something wow. like that. Look, when you come to the U.S., there's a reason <laughs> why the food is, like, so affordable. You're like, wow, it's cheap to go out and eat in the U.S. It's because there's kind of this understanding. 
understanding they will that the absolutely service fees and paying for the workers and the waitresses and stuff like that, that goes on to you, the person eating there, with the tips. So the food and stuff can be cheaper when you go out to eat. And I know a lot of people say, I don't believe in tipping, and this tipping isn't the right thing. They should pay their people more. Yeah, but well, it's if, not, if, if it's you not want the to pay more fault. for your food, they can do that. But they don't. Yeah. Okay. So tipping is something we do do here in the U.S. So do tip that 15 to 20 percent. Oh, also, if you're at a bar and you're buying drinks, you're gonna want to tip a couple dollars here and there. Otherwise, the bartender might not be too quick to come back and get you oh, your next yeah, drink. Oh yeah, of course. So falling off of those tips, what you need to realize is our next don't is don't be freaked out by the over-the-top service and free stuff you sometimes get in free the U.S. Stuff? Look, because of tipping and commissions and stuff like that, yes, there is a lot of over-the-top service here. But the thing is, in the U.S., the people actually are pretty nice and they want to help people. And sometimes for some travelers, if they come from countries where people don't get a lot of service sometimes, it can be a bit much, so don't freak out about it. Also with that is don't be freaked out with some of the free stuff you get when you go to restaurants. It's the free Look, stuff. you go to a restaurant and they bring you bread and water or chips and salsa and all those really good things, that's included in your meal. Mm, okay. okay, so if you're going to be buying something, they're going to give you some free stuff. It might be some bread, it might be a salad, it might be a, you know, water, it might be something like that. So don't be like shocked when like, wait, I, did, I didn't order this bread, I didn't order this salad. <laughs> oh no, that comes with your meal, okay? Now the thing is though, you can't just go in and get chips and salsa and walk out, all right? You actually have to order some food when you go there. <laughs> now my next don't for you is it's like, give me don't chips smoke and salsa. cigarettes in the U.S. If you're smoking cigarettes in the U.S., people will look at you like you're trying to kill their baby. Cigarettes <laughs> is like totally verboten, like people really frown upon it, which is funny because when they talk about marijuana and stuff like that, people don't seem to care as much, but cigarettes, oh, you're trying to kill my baby with that cigarette two blocks <laughs> away. So if you do terrible. smoke, make sure you try to find a place where you can smoke because a lot of restaurants or pretty much all yeah, restaurants, yeah. hotels, stuff like that have smoke free. It's smoke free. So you got to go like 15 to 20 feet away from doing things. So that can be something. So I've come here outside my favorite liquor store to give you the next don't. And that is don't try to buy alcohol unless you're 21 or cigarettes unless you're 18 or over in the US. They will not sell them it's to you. It's crazy that you the need the, is, don't the alcohol. ID. Because if you look that like you need to be 21 to buy alcohol, but um, you need to be 18 to buy cigarettes. <laughs> like what? If you're 40 or under, they may ask you for that. And don't get mad at them because if they don't ask, they could get in trouble and get fined. So don't be surprised because we've had friends that have come here, tried to buy alcohol and they're like, sorry, you, you don't look old enough. Oh, I don't have my ID. Too bad. And the thing is, it's not just the person buying. They might ask anybody with you. So make sure everybody has their ID if they want to buy liquor or they want to buy, well, they want to buy alcohol or if they want to buy cigarettes. So just FYI on that one. Oh, that's also another don't I have for you is don't bother with a metric system when you come here. We don't use, or sorry, we don't use meters. We it don't sucks. use kilometers. We don't use liters. I hate it. It is inches, feet, miles, gallons, uh, <laughs> pounds, yeah. things like that. Just and I'll put a conversion the chart system. here to the show you. Uses it but for honestly, you may say, hey, how far is it to this next town? And they'll tell you, oh, it's like 60 miles. You're like, what's that? Just know 60 miles, eh, it's about 100 kilometers, okay? So just do that because the people here won't get it. I mean, I have people, when I'll tell them, oh, it's 100 meters away, they're like 100 meters. It's like 100 yards. Oh, okay. <laughs> so make sure you do know your imperial system, okay? Because metric, we don't do that so much here. So our next don't is when you do come to the U.S., there's a couple things you don't talk about, okay? One is gun control, and two is politics, oh. because no matter where you are, you will get people on either yeah, of side course. of the spectrum, and they will have an argument with you, so it's best just to lay out those have topics, a good time. <laughs> talk about the weather. Oh, wouldn't it be nicer if it was sunny today, and we could go sailing? Yes, that would be much better than discussing gun control or politics. Just putting that one out there for you right now. Now my next note for you is don't assume that all the U.S. and all the Americans are the same. Because I know a lot of people say, oh, you're a typical American. What's well, like saying you're a typical European? <laughs> Look, the U.S. has all kinds of different cultures, all kinds of different people, all kinds of different topography and scenery and stuff like that. Yeah. And when you're really just so bad in general, all the same. <laughs> you generalize. will see regional differences in cuisines and how people treat each other um, and how everything looks, all kinds of stuff. So don't just think there's just one kind of American. They're all fat, slobby guys with ponytails. No, there's actually a lot of skinny people in America too, not just fat guys like me and my buddy Jeff.
<laughs> there are those. So don't assume it's all the same, all right? So do go out and explore. And that's why I always say is if you're going to come to the U.S., go explore, and explore different regions because you'll get a really different feel. Because going to the southeast and seeing the, the plantation homes and, and going to see the, the southern towns down there versus going to the northwest and, and Seattle and Portland or going to San Francisco or going to the Midwest with Chicago and Milwaukee, you're going to have a very different feel, which is really a cool yeah, thing to do and you start to understand is, and wow, the point of U.S. does have right? a lot of different cultures within it, a lot of different feelings when you go around here. And following on with that, I guess I would say another don't is don't assume there's no culture in the U.S. because there are a lot of cultural centers out there. If you no go down to New Orleans, no you culture. see a very rich culture there. You go to New York or Boston, here in New England, you have a very distinct culture. In the Midwest with Chicago, Milwaukee, you go to the West Coast. I mean, there's a lot of different culture here. Yeah, it's Historic true. culture with the Native Americans or more recent culture Each country here. has I mean, this you culture. you have all that here, you can really take in. And saying there's no culture in the U.S., it's not really true because there are all these different cultural yeah, centers with course. great museums like the Art Institute of Chicago or the Met in New York, the Getty in LA. There's all kinds of stuff you can see and do when you are here <laughs> for a cultural trip. It's not just seeing beautiful landscapes and, and seascapes like we are here in Connecticut. There's a lot more to it than that. Yeah, like now my next don't for you stuff. is one that I kind of get a lot of questions about. We actually have a video on this and then that is don't think that how are you or how's it going is actually a question. Look, when we say how's it going, how, you, how are you, these kind of things in the US, it's not a question, it's a statement. It's like saying hi. <laughs> okay, just take it as a hi. Because a lot You're of people like, like, yeah. ask me how I'm doing. When I try to tell them what I'm, how I'm feeling, they're like, well, I was just saying, how are you? Here, how are you? It's like just, hi. Think of it that way. It's <laughs> like in France, ça va, ça va. How, is it, how's it going? How's it going? We're good to go. In Portuguese, to the bane, everything good. You answer back, to the bane, everything good. It's just, how are you? How are you? You move on, okay? So don't think it's an actual question, all right? <laughs> now, another don't I have for you is don't expect a lot at the fancy hotels. You know, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to pay more money for this hotel. I'm probably going to get nicer stuff, like a nicer breakfast, better Wi-Fi. Oh, no, 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 no. For some reason in the U.S., it seems like the nicer the this hotel, the more you have to pay for the things you think would be free, like Wi-Fi and breakfast. Okay. So don't feel like you have to stay at the fancy hotels, because honestly, if you're going to be going out and exploring, you just need a couple beds, That's right? That's true. So stay at the hotels in the U.S., and the cheaper ones will give you floors? free Wi-Fi, free breakfast, all these kind of things, which is really nice, so don't expect that from the fancy hotels. Another don't I have for you is don't skip out on the local food. Look, we're here in New England. We're here in Connecticut. We've been having lobster and clams. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh my God. New England clam chowder. Oh, my tummy is just like, more, more. <laughs> it's fantastic. When I'm in the South, man, Southern fried chicken, mac and cheese, barbecue. <laughs> oh so my fun. God. The food in the different regions in the U.S. are great. So don't just go to chain oh, restaurants. Next, when you go to your hotel, ask them, hey, What's some local restaurants around here? What's some locally owned and operated restaurants so you can go there and check out those places because they really give you a great experience. And I find a lot of times those ones actually have better service than the chain restaurants because mm -hmm. it's a mom and pop place where the of owners course. are the ones helping you out. And that is really kind of They're a cool invested thing. in it, so they're now, gonna help you. Now the next one for you is don't get sick. Look. <laughs> Healthcare in the U.S. is insanely expensive. And just because you come from another country doesn't mean they're not going to find you for the bill. All right? <laughs> so if you're going to be coming here, make sure you get travel insurance or trip insurance so in case oh, you do get sick or you do break an ankle or you do break an arm or something happens to you, your insurance will cover it. Now, you might have to pay it first and your insurance pays you back, but at least you'll get something back because health healthcare here in the U.S. is insanely expensive, is. okay? Yeah. So make sure you're prepared for that. And I guess my last don't I'm going to have for you is one that people actually got mad at me for when I lived in other countries when I told them the U.S. has 50 states. And they said, no, the U.S. has 52 states. Look, don't think the U.S. Oh. has 52 states. The U.S. has 50 states, okay? Just just a heads up on that one. I'm sure that people are going to be commenting down below that when I was in school, they told me 52. No, there's 48 on the mainland, and then Alaska and Hawaii are 49 and 50, all right? So, those are our don'ts for visiting the U.S. What are some of the don'ts you have for the U.S.? Because I know there's more out there. I just want to get some of these out there to help out travelers heading to the U.S. just so we can get things going. Anyway, if you like videos like this, we have stuff on what the don'ts of going to Russia, the don'ts of going to Germany, the don'ts of you know going to Brazil and things like that. And we really like helping They're travelers with honest travel Yeah, they advice. have a lot of travel So, guys. if you like this video, do click that subscribe button. It means a lot to us, and we put new travel videos out every Wednesday and Saturday to help great travelers just like you. So I'll say bye from Connecticut and have a great time in the U.S. because don't worry, you will. It's a fantastic place.
Um, yeah, it, it, this was very, um, very um, eye opening. Um, I think probably um, it, it's. It, I was thinking about the culture thing. It's really funny because I think yeah, compared to probably other like countries and other like continents, I think people do tend to think like, oh yeah, the USA doesn't have a culture because they are used to culture being something like um, a lot of historical places, a lot of museums, a lot of like art or, and stuff like that. Um, you know, like in Asia or um, Europe and in and in South America. But um, if, of course they have a culture, you know, it's it's an historical, they have historical places. Obviously you're not gonna compare the culture of something like so old as um, Asia or Europe to something, you know, in the American continent in general. Um, not just USA, because obviously, you know, those places are older, so they always are going to have more stuff. But um, it, it's mean, I mean, still compared to us, something that's happened like 200 years ago, you know, that's old. So it was different times. So it, it does make sense for you to be like, no, I actually want to visit like the museums and stuff like that. And it's not just like tied to the US, um, you know, it, the, the museums are not just going to house like stuff from the USA, you know, you have places like New York, that, like he said, you know, you have the Met. Um, the MoMA, and they have paintings from all over the world. Um, so, you know, it's not just that. Um, and yeah, it's really funny. Also, I, I was surprised about the tipping thing that, um, because I thought it was common knowledge that, um, a lot of, you know, that if you go to the US, you know, that, um, they don't get, you know, they rely on tips. So you have to tip them. And if you don't, like, they're gonna hate you forever. So <laughs> please tip wa uh, waitresses and waiters, even if you think that, yeah, of course it should be. Um, you know, they should be um, compensated, you know, correctly, but um, because it's not gonna, it's not gonna change and it's not their fault. So like, please tip them. Um, but yeah, this made me like, so I, I want to visit like a lot of, a lot of the regions I did, especially Connecticut, because it looks very beautiful. Um, but that was it for today and I'll see you soon. Bye.